please welcome to your vinyasa flow day two. This is Kit Kat and I'm going to lead you through your flow today. So today to get started, we're actually going to start in um, a Supta Bhadakwanasana, which is a supine position. So if you do have a bolster, feel free to lay on the bolster, or perhaps if you have a block, uh, you can take the block and I'll demonstrate both of these um, opening spaces for you. So I'm going to bring the bolster right up to the back of my butt. I'm going to lay down on it. I'm going to bring my feet, the soles of my feet together and I'm going to allow the knees to float out to the side. So a couple of things you can do with the hands by the side body here. You can take the arms up over the head if you'd like a little bit of opening or you can have a mouth at shoulder height. So if you, that's the bolster variation. If you're working with a block, the block's going to go between the scapula, so a block or a lunchbox, or if you took up my offer of getting a brick from your backyard and wrapping it in a tea towel <laughs> for your boots, um, I'm lucky enough to have a block here. Uh, so again, it's right where my bra strap is, blokes if you're wearing a bra, probably don't put that in our Facebook group, <laughs> or if you are, interesting. Um, and I'm going to drop the head back onto the earth, bring the feet, the soles of the feet together. The other option is to have another block supporting the head here if that gets a little too intense. Otherwise, you might even just like to put a cushion underneath the head. And you're going to come into that space wherever that might be for you today. And if that's a little bit too intense, you can always drop it back down onto the floor and come into this variation of Sukta Vada Konasana. I'm going to rest my hands on my belly, close down the eyes, notice the sounds around you, the smells, the breeze or lack of breeze. Allow yourself to be in the space. Feel the rise and fall of the belly, that effortless yet powerful breath that lovingly supports you in this space. Just rest here for a moment. Imagine yourself coming into the room and in your mind's eye, see yourself stepping onto your mat. Watch yourself set up for practice as you lie back into Sukta Vada Konasana and that image in your mind's eye joins with the physical self in this time and place. Feel the connection of the self to the earth. Feel the slowing of the breath. With your next inhale breath, I invite you to follow the journey of the breath in through the nose, down the back of the throat. Feel the lungs fill with fresh oxygen, the ribs expand, maybe even feeling the rise and fall with the inhale of the belly. As you exhale, the belly draws back to the spine, the ribs contract, the lungs deflate, and the breath exits through the nose. I'm going to invite you to follow the journey of the breath. Bringing the breath all the way down to the belly. Noticing the rise and fall of the belly with each inhale and exhale. Our breath lovingly supporting us, creating space in the body. Each breath, the lungs giving the heart a little hug, this internal mechanism for, for self-love. Inhale, heart hug. Exhale, self-love. Inhale, heart hug. Exhale, self-love. Following the journey of the breath, the four more breaths here. That gentle, peaceful connection. Two more breaths. If 
you are on a bolster or a block. Elbows into the mat. Lift the head, tuck the chin into the chest and just roll over to one side and release the bolster. If you're lying directly onto the floor, bring the knees back together and bring the knees into the chest. And everyone can move to bringing the knees into the chest. Tuck the forehead into the knees and create the smallest possible ball that you can with yourself. This posture is a variation of cosmic egg, a place of infinite possibility where anything at all might happen and quite often does. Exhale and release. Drop the knees over to the left side of your mat. Keep the hands together and as you inhale, open the arm and gaze away from the knees. Your first supine twist. You can rest that left hand on top of the right knee and deepen that twist ever so slightly, gazing in the opposite direction. Try and find a little bit of surrender here as you inhale and exhale. Two more breaths here. Inhale the knees through the centre. A little bit of a roll side to side. Wrap the arms around the knees and pull the knees into the chest. Pause me again. Exhale, release. Drop the knees over to the right. Hands, palms press. Inhale, open the hand. Gazing towards the right hand, sorry, the left hand away from the knees. This right hand just resting on the top there. You can deepen that twist here. Three more breaths. Trying to soften into the space. Two more breaths. Inhale the knees back to centre. And again, make that little ball with the body. This time, reaching for the insides of the feet, pressing the soles of the feet up to the ceiling and coming into happy baby, this first little hip stretch here. And you can just roll on the back a little bit. The knees coming down to each side. Feeling that stretch a little bit into the hamstrings, a little bit into the hips, and also feeling a little bit of a back massage here into the earth. Tuck the chin slightly into the chest. Bring the feet back so that you are centered and the feet are facing up towards the sky. Inhale the breath. As you exhale, pull the knees back in towards the armpits and see if you can send your tailbone towards the front of your mat. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull a little bit deeper. Send that tailbone towards the front of the mat. Last round, inhale. Exhale. A little bit of stretch there, tucking the chin into the chest. And bringing the knees in here. We're just gonna rest the hands off the floor and lift the shoulders. The knees are at 90 degrees. And you're just going to lift up for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Take the arms overhead. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms away from the head and reach as far away as you can. Release the hands, bring them back and lift the shoulders. And this time we're just gonna tap the right foot and the left foot right, left, right, left, for five, four, lift the shoulders, three, two, and last one. This time, find your low boat. Exhale and release, arms over the head, interlace the hands and reach the hands away from the head. Step your left foot out to the left and take your right foot and put it over the top of the left foot. You can flex those feet. Take Shakti Mudra. So interlace the fingers and create that little yogi gun. Squeeze the elbows into the head and now pull the body or pull the hands towards the feet. So you're creating banana asana. Banana nut, do 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 do
two more for us here. Do 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 Return to centre and take the right foot over the right, left foot up and over that right foot, and then you're going to inhale and take banana asana, reaching over to the right. The beautiful thing about this posture is that it keeps the whole body flat down onto the earth. And we do do this while we're standing up, uh, but this just gives you a, a little perspective as to where the body is when it's flat and in this space. Two more breaths here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Coming back to the centre. Bring your heels up towards your hips. And we're just going to lift the tail and come into a little bridge ripple here. So hands, palms plant by the heels. Really press the feet in. The knees are about hip width apart. And you want to keep tracking the knees towards the midline here. So inhale, lift the hips and peel the body up off the floor. Exhale, shoulders, ribs, waist and hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. So we're really trying to roll through this space. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Press the feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale and lower. Bring the knees into the chest. Take a little rock and roll. And roll all the way over up into your tabletop. Hands, palms, press the floor. Uncurl the toes. Draw belly into the spine. Our hands are underneath the shoulders. You're going to inhale, draw the belly down. Exhale, roll up through the body here. Cat and cow. Inhale, cow stretch. Exhale, cat stretch. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, come back to your neutral tabletop. Lift the left arm high, reach up, gaze towards the fingertips and as you exhale, sweep that left hand underneath the right and bring your left ear down to the mat. Walk the right hand forward and stretch it away. Lifting those elbows up. Keeping the hips square. Feeling this first little twist and that lengthening through the right side body. Two more breaths. One more breath. Right hand underneath the right shoulder. Press that hands palm into the earth. Inhale and lift. Exhale back to tabletop. Right arm lifts. Inhale. Exhale, sweep it under. Ear down to the earth. And you can walk that left hand forward. Feeling that stretch and lengthening down the left side of the body. Pressing the shins into the mat. Breathing in this space. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Left hand comes back underneath the shoulder. Hand palms plant, lift. Gaze up to that right fingertips. Exhale and release. We're back in our tabletop here. We're going to walk the hands forward and come into puppy pose, Anahatasana. So this might be you today, just finding a little arching in the back. You might like to come down a little bit further. And if you're super duper open in the space, the hips remain over the top of the knees, the arms reach forward and the chin can come forward onto the mat and the heart, the ribs, the front body is resting on the mat. Breathe in this space. Three more breaths here. Two more breaths. Gently slide forward here and come into Sphinx Pose. So the feet are slightly separated, the elbows are on the mat. Dig the elbows into the earth, inhale, separate the ribs from the hips and send the heart space forward. Two breaths here. One more breath. And we're going to come back to our tabletop. Lifting back up, walking the hands back. 
tucking the toes and sending the hips high, downward facing dog, a little bit of movement here, hips and heels, gentle gaze forward, bend into the knees, step or foot forward, separate the feet here, we're going to take ragdoll pose, bend into the knees, drop the head, grab hold of each opposite elbow and a gentle sway, just side to side, finding a little bit of movement here. You're feeling that stretch continuing into the back body, into the QL, either side of the spine. Come back to centre, drop the hands down to the earth, roll to rise, coming all the way up to your first Tadasana for our practice today. If your feet aren't together, bring them gently together, relax the hands down by the side body and take Tadasana grounded standing more mountain pose. Lift the feet here, find your Padabandha. Lift the toes rather, finding Padabandha. And you can feel the arches lift here and the knife edge of the foot dig into the foot. Find the four corners of the feet and plant them into the mat. See if you can spread the toes and bring the toes back down to connect with the earth. Keep lifting up through the shins and knees, the quadriceps, drawing the pelvis down towards the earth, belly to spine, lifting of the heart space, drawing of the shoulders down towards the earth. Gentle tuck of the chin, crown of the head draws high. Inhale, arms reach high, hands pass press. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands plant and step back to plank. Ashtanga Namaskar, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, uncurl the toes, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, tuck the toes, press the heels towards the earth, lift the hips and breathe. Inhale, exhale one. Draw belly to the spine, press the hands into the mat and breathe. Next inhale breath, gentle gaze forward, bend into the knees, step forward, flat back. Exhale, deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, roll to rise, arms up over the head, hands, palms press, heart lifts, heels ground, hands to heart centre, hands by the side. Inhale, arms reach high, exhale, deep forward fold, inhale, flat back, exhale, step back to plank, knees down to the earth, half chaturanga, elbows into the ribs. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, or Cobra Pose. Exhale, Ardha Mukha, Downward Facing Dog, lift the hips. Lengthen through the back of the legs, belly to spine. Drop the head, release tension from the neck. Press the mat. Two more breaths here, inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the knees. Step forward, flat back. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, roll to rise. Hands, palms, press heart, lifts, heels ground. Hands to heart centre, hands by the side. Surya Namaskar, A, round three. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float back to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Ardha Mukha. Three breaths. Create space between the scapula. Relax the neck. Belly to spine. Inhale, gaze forward, gentle bend in the knees. Step or float forward, flat back. Exhale, deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, roll to rise. Arms reach high, hands, palms press, heart lifts, heels ground, hands to heart centre, and hands by the side. Utkatasana chair pose, Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, arms reach high, drop the seat, belly to spine. Exhale, hands to heart centre, deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back to plank. Full chaturanga or yogi's choice, whichever chaturanga you'd like. If you're full chaturanga, shift forward. Exhale, elbows to ribs. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Ardha Mukha. Inhale, right leg lifts. Step forward, crescent lunge. 
right foot, right hand, inhale, arms reach high. Two breaths here. Track that right knee towards the midline. Lengthen through the back left leg. Exhale, hands, palms plant. Step back, take a vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Uddhva Mukha. Exhale, Ardha Mukha, press back. Straight away, inhale, left leg lifts. Crescent lunge, left foot, left hand. Inhale, reach. Lengthen through the hands, belly to spine. One more breath. Exhale, hands, palms plant. Step back to plank. Take your variation of your vinyasa. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Staying here. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Notice the heat building in the body. We call this tapas, that internal fire. Gentle bend of the knees. Gaze forward. Step or float forward, flat back. Exhale, deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, roll to rise. Arms reach high, hands, palms press, heart lifts, heels ground. Hands to heart center, just take a moment here in your Tadasana. Samskara are said to be all the patterns that exist in our lives. Whether we've created them in this life or they've joined us from a past life. And this tapas or heat that we build, this fire within, is said to burn away that samskara, freeing the physical self and freeing the mind of the things that bind us. And that's why our yoga practice feels so good after we've run through our vinyasa flow. Release the hands down by the side. Take an inhale, breath, reach high. Think of something that brought you joy today. Exhale, hold on to that moment of joy just for you. Inhale, arms reach high. Think of a moment of joy. Share that moment of joy with people that you care about. Send them the joy that you're feeling inside your heart. Release the hands. Inhale. Think of that moment of joy. And this time, send that moment of joy out into the world to people that you don't know. Share that joy with people that you don't know. Release the hands down by the side body. Inhale, arms reach high. Think of that moment of joy. As you exhale, send that joy out to people that you know that you don't super duper love. Oh, that's really hard. <sighs> sure someone came to mind. Exhale, release the hands down by the side. The loving kindness or meta meditation, which you'll meet uh, during your meditations this week but finding somebody that you love, people that you're indifferent to, the whole world, and someone that you don't like, and sending them joy and loving kindness. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back to plank. Plant the hands. Take a vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, ardha mukha, press back. Straight away, we're going to lift the right leg high. And we're going to come in to Anjana Asana. Right foot, right hand. And we're going to drop that back left knee. Uncurl the toes. Inhale and reach the arms high. Three breaths here. Inhale, exhale one. As you gaze towards the hands, lift the heart space. As you exhale, surrender the hips down to the earth. Inhale, create length. Exhale, deepen that stretch. One more. Inhale, length. Exhale, surrender. Plant the hands down by the earth. Tuck the toes and send your hips back over your heels. So this is half Hanumanasana. Uh, beautiful stretch for the hamstring on this right leg. Plant the hands down onto the earth. You might be here. You might be reaching forward. I'll give you a couple of mods. We want to inhale and lengthen through the back body and we want to pull the toes back towards the face, lengthening all the way through the spine and through this right hamstring. So your hands might be here and you might be able to lower all the way down or you might still be back here going, oh my God, can we get out of this yet? Wherever you are, just breathe and beak because you've got three more breaths. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. 
Inhale, exhale, three, gaze forward. Shift the weight forward and come back into your Anjaneyasana. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, surrender. Two more breaths here. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, surrender. Last breath. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, surrender. Hands, palms, plant. Tuck the toes, send the hips back. Find your half Hanumanasana, your splits pose. Resting here. Lengthening through the back body. Find your edge. Hold that space. One more breath. Inhale, gaze forward. Come forward to Anjaneyasana. Plant the hands, tuck the toes of that left leg. Lift up here. Step back into plank. Take a vinyasa. Exhale. Chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, exhale back, Ardha Mukha, breathe and bend, inhale, left leg lifts, gaze forward, we're coming in Anjana Yasana, left foot, left hand, drop the right knee, uncurl the toes, inhale, arms reach high, lengthen through the back body, exhale, deepen the surrender, this front knee tracks towards the midline, don't let it shift out to the side. Press the back shin into the earth, so you're driving that shin into the earth. Inhale, lift. Exhale, surrender. One more breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, surrender. Hands, palms, plant by that front foot. Tuck the toes, send the hips back. Half Hanumanasana. I'm feeling this in my left calf, my little injured calf. Reaching forward, two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Plant the hands, slide it forward, uncurl those back toes. Inhale, arms reach high, Anjaneyasana, three breaths here. Lengthen on the inhale, surrender on the exhale. Inhale, finds length. Exhale, finds depth. One more breath. Inhale, length. Exhale, surrender. Hands, palms, plant. Tuck the back toes, send the hips over the heel. Pulling that front left toe back towards the face. Reaching and lengthening through this left hamstring here. Keep sending your butt towards the back of the room. Opening the toes on the right hand side at the same time. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Gently slide forward, Anjaneyasana, uncurl back toes, inhale, lift the hands, exhale, surrender, inhale, lift, exhale, deepen that stretch, release the hands down by the feet, tuck the toes of that right foot, step back to your plank pose, hold your plank here, draw belly to spine, Lift up and out of the shoulders, creating space between the scapula. Hold here for four, three, two, one. Drop the knees down to the earth, uncurl the toes and send the hips back, come into child's pose. Forehead rests down on the earth, hands come back by the feet, shoulders draw down to the earth and breathe. Four more breaths here. Feeling the belly pressing into the thigh. Allowing yourself that sensation of deeply surrendering to your child's pose. Inhale, breath, creating space in the back body. And the exhale, breath, allowing you to surrender and explore that space. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Gently gaze forward, reach the hands forward. We're going to come into forearm plank. So the elbows remain on the floor and the forearms are parallel, just as you would in your um, plank pose, but the elbows are going to stay on the ground. Step the right foot back and step the left foot back. Here we are in forearm plank. Same action, you're going to lift up and out of the shoulders. Draw the hips forward, shorten the distance between the ribs and the hips and gaze forward. 
Hold here for four more breaths. Three, two, and one. Roll over onto the side and take it side plank here. A little bit of strength work. For five, four, three, two, one. Come back to forearm plank, roll through. Separate the feet. Find your forearm plank for four, three, two, one. Onto the left, side plank for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale down. Drop the knees down to the earth here. If that's become a little bit too intense, I don't blame you, it's quite intense. If not, you can stay up here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the right hand under the shoulder, left hand under the shoulder. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, step forward, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms reach high. Two rounds of breath here. Inhale, exhale, one. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, surrender. Opening up into warrior two. Take an inhale breath and lift up through the body and open up into your warrior two. A little bit of yogi exploration here. Bending and finding your edge in this space. Coming down eventually when you find your edge in this warrior two. Flip the palms. Find a little bit of relaxation in the shoulders and then regain that place in this warrior pose. This beautiful, firm, assertive yet fair pose. Flip the front palm, reach as far forward as you can. Inhale, up and over and reverse your warrior. Try and rest this back hand not on the knee, either on the quadricep or on the abductor, rather on the outside of that leg, or if you can reach all the way down towards the shin. Two more breaths here. Inhale, exhale, one. Reach and lengthen. Inhale, coming back to your warrior two. Straighten through that front right leg. And turn to face the long edge of your mat. Turn the toes in towards each other. Take the arms out to shoulder height. Bring the hands into the hips. As you inhale, lengthen, lift the heart towards the ceiling. As you exhale, keep gazing forward, gazing forward, gazing forward, gazing forward, gazing forward as you drop the body down towards the earth. And the head gently rests upon the earth. Bring the hands, palms down to the earth. Now, if your head's on the floor, like me, feet come a little closer. Head not touching the floor, walk the feet out a little wider. Just feel a little respite there. So wherever that space is for you. Lift the hips towards the sky and roll gently into the toes. Lengthen through the back body by drawing belly to spine. Two more breaths here. One more breath here. Engage the core. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale the breath. Inhale, lift the right hand. Inhale, lift the left hand. Hold here for three, two, and one. Bring the hands back to the hips. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Turn the left foot out to the left side of the mat and come back into your warrior two on the other side. Again, explore your warrior pose. Find those little places that want you to go a little deeper today, that are asking you to go deeper. When you find that warrior to ground both feet down into the earth, open the heart space, find that left knee, the external rotation of the femur, the knee tracking over the toes. Relax the shoulders, hands, palms up to the sky, just for a moment to feel the release of the tension in the neck and around the shoulders. And then return the hands, palms, to face the earth, gazing over the left hand in this firm stance, which is your warrior two. 
Flip the front palm, the left hand. Reach as far forward as you can. Inhale, up and over. Exhale as you get there, warrior. Reversed. Gazing up towards these top fingertips. Finding our reverse warrior. Keeping as much space in this underneath or back arch as we can. Two more breaths here. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Coming back to our warrior two. Straightening through that front leg. Again, turning the toes as we take our wide leg forward fold. This time interlace the hands, palms behind the back. You might like to squeeze the hands, palms together and as you do this, pull the hands down towards the earth, drawing the shoulders down and back. Inhale and lift the heart space towards the sky. As you exhale, bending forward, keeping the hands glued to the back until you reach all the way down to the earth and then release the hands, pulling them over the head. Adjust your feet as necessary. Eventually the hands will come over the head and touch the floor. Maybe today, maybe next week, maybe next year. It's all a work in progress, don't stress about it. Just be wherever you are today. Gentle roll forward into the feet. Use the toes like little stoppers. Lift the hips, belly to spine. Lift the kneecaps. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Gently release the hands down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring the hands to the hips, exhale a breath. Inhale, left hand reaches. Right hand reaches for five, four, three, two, one. Hands to waist. Inhale and lift. Turn that right foot back to the front of the mat. Keep the legs straight. And make sure there's just two or three feet distance here. While we're coming into Trikonasana, inhale, arms reach out to the side. We're going to find our Saturday night disco hips. Da -da 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 -da. Don't get there now. Send that hip to the back of the room. Reach this right hand as far past the mat, as far as the eye can see. As you exhale, reach down and press the hand into the shin. Inhale, lift the left arm high. Draw belly to spine and imagine yourself between two panes of glass. Press both feet into the floor. Lift and, lift and lengthen through the front of the legs, the kneecaps, the quadriceps. Breathe here, four more breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Little gentle twist to open the heart space to the sky. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Press both feet into the earth. Inhale and lift. Turn the right foot all the way in and turn the left foot all the way out. Coming into Trikonasana on the other side. Saturday night disco hips again, and this time we're sending that right hip to the right. You're going to reach with this, walk like an Egyptian left hand, all the way as far as you can, exhale, hand comes down to the shin, inhale, right arm goes high. Press both feet into the mat, feel the energy drawing up through the shins, lifting the kneecap and the quadricep. External rotation of the underneath left leg and of the top right leg. Reaching up, feel yourself between those two panes of glass, belly to spine. Two more breaths here. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, ground both feet and lift all the way back up to centre. Bring the hands onto the hips. Step the back foot a little bit closer. So you've just got a two, probably a two or three foot gap between the front and back foot. Hands onto the hips here and square the hips. So just like you're doing warrior one, the hips are squared to what is the front of your mat and towards the back of your mat. Inhale and take the arms high. And if you can, we're coming into reverse namaskar. So reverse hands in prayer at the back here. Now, if this is a little bit of a struggle time for you, I totally appreciate it because once upon a time it was for me too, you can. Grab hold of opposite elbows here, and if this is still a really tough ask, just grab hold of opposite hands here, so you're still going to get that opening of the chest. If you are in prayer, arms go out to the side, and then you can wrap those bad boys in there. Press 
the hands palms in between the shoulders and open the heart space inhale lift the heart towards the sky and as you exhale extend the heart forward sending the hips to the back of the room and drawing the belly all the way down to the thigh lengthening through that front leg and seeing if you can square the hips and maintain that sensation of the hips being square. So this might be you today, this might be you. What I want you to do is keep that front leg straight so there's no bend in the knee here. So wherever you are in this space today, allow the head to relax. And continue to lengthen through the spine. One more breath here. Inhale and lift. Leave the hands where they are. Turn to face the side of the mat and turn to face the front of the mat. Adjust the feet as necessary. Adjust the hands if they slipped out of wherever they were. And if you've got hold of opposite elbows at the back, swap over so the other hand's grabbing the other elbow. That fun way and the more fun way. Inhale, heart lifts. Gaze towards the sky. Exhale. Bringing the belly down onto that thigh, keeping the hips square, and eventually gazing down towards the earth. Doesn't matter where you are, you might be here. Just try and build that strength, build that length. If you need to drop the arms down to the floor, you can. Wherever you are, just be there. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale. Reversing that up to where you came from. Release the hands. Come back to the side so the feet are parallel to the mat. Hands in the heart centre. This time turn the feet out and we're going to come into goddess squat. Exhale and come down into this space. Draw belly to spine. Thumb presses into the sternum and just take 10 pulses here. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it down. Knees tracking over the toes, cactus the arms. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to your warrior two on the right hand side. So make some adjustments there. Find your warrior two, and then windmill your hands back down to the mat. Step your right foot back into plank, and take a vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, lift the hips, press back, urdhva mukha. Four rounds of breath here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Gentle bend in the knees, gaze forward. Step forward, flat back. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, roll to rise. Coming all the way to standing. Reaching up, hands, palms press, heart lifts, heels ground. Hands to heart center. Just take a moment here to express gratitude. For this breath, for this life, for this moments of quiet reflection in our yoga practice. Coming into a variation of our tree pose, grounding both feet into the earth. We're going to lift the right leg. So as we lift that to Ekapada Tadasana, I want you to reach down for the knife edge of the foot. And you're going to bring the knife edge of the foot into the hip crease. So slightly different to our uh, tree pose of the other day. This knee is externally rotating at the femur here. This knee is angling down towards the earth. Belly to spine. And you're drawing the pelvis down. So you can feel that lengthening. This hand comes up to the heart centre. There's a gentle tuck of the chin towards the chest. And if you can, you're going to balance and bring that other hand to heart centre. So this might be you today. 
or this might be you today. Really engage this bicep here so that you can find that natural human traction in this space. If you'd like to add on a little bit, we're going to bring the hands to heart centre and start to forward fold here in this space. Only if you want to. You're going to bring the hands down onto the earth and just be here in this balance for just a moment. And when you're ready, lifting back up the way you went in, hands to heart centre, coming up, finding your balance, breathing this space, exhale, release that right foot down to the earth, a little bit of movement in the knees, doesn't matter wherever you are in this tree pose, everything's just a practice, so it doesn't matter if you've got the full Ashtanga variation, if you know that, doesn't matter if you are just, you know, just finding your way into the posture. Wherever you are is exactly where you need to be right now. So don't, don't ever worry that, you know, there were days when I thought I'd never be able to do that forward fold. There were days when I thought I'd never be able to actually stand in tree pose and days when I actually physically couldn't. Today, I can and I'm extraordinarily grateful, more than you know. Ground the right foot into the earth and lift the left. Let's try the other side. So find that point and commit your gaze or your drishti to that point. Maybe it's three or four meter foot in front of you. Reach down with the right hand and grab the knife edge of the left foot and pull it all the way up into the hip crease here. Allow that knee to draw down towards the earth and you can feel that external rotation in the femur here. Hold on to this foot, engage the bicep. Really hold that in there, creating strength in the upper body, belly to spine, Separate the ribs from the hips. Hand comes to Anjali Mudra at the heart centre. You might like to stay here. If you can hold this compression of the foot into the thigh. And you might even like to draw the body down towards the earth. For three, two, one. Inhale the way you went. In, hands to heart centre, and lift it all the way up. Exhale and release. Little gentle movements. <sighs> feels good. Feels good. It just feels good. <laughs> Inhale, take the arms up towards the sky. Reach, 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 reach the fingertips. Bring the hands back into heart center. As you come down, bend into the knees, lift the heels, and sit the hips back over the heels, creating a little box here. And if you can, I'm going to turn around, which <laughs> made it a little bit weird, gently dropping yourself down and coming in to your Navasta. Holding here for four, three, two, and one. Sukhasana, but I want you to press the hands into the earth and lift your butt up off the mat. Exhale and release. Come back to your Navasana. So you might be here today, or you might be in full Navasana. Lift the heart space for five, four, three, two, one. Cross the legs over the other way. Press the hands just to the hips, lift your butt up off the earth, lift the left foot up, lift the right foot up, exhale and release, inhale back to your Navasana, you might be here or here, wherever you are, lift the heart for five, four, three, two, one, cross the legs, booty lift for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, release, last set, Navasana here, or Navasana here, give it a shot, give it a shot, give it a shot, exhale, and release, hands, palms, press, lift your butt, engage the core, exhale, release, come back up, grab hold of, with the peace fingers, into the toes there, 
Extend the legs if you can. Maybe your knees are a little bit bent. Maybe they're not all the way there yet. Whatever it looks like, just try and balance. And if you can, lift the heart space. Lower the legs. And find a little balance here. Whatever it looks like. It might look like this. <laughs> it might look like you're falling over and like some sort of crazy insect. <laughs> Lord knows mine looked like that for long enough as well until I built the strength. The trick is to press the toes like a mofo into the fingers and lift the heart space. Two more breaths here. Bring your feet back together. Allow the toes to rest down on the floor. Wrap the arms around the knees and come back to your column again. Breathe here. Extend the legs out in front of you. Maybe walk the hips back a little bit. Lift the heart space. And as you exhale, lower the body towards the legs. Doesn't matter where you are. If you're here today, maybe the knees are a little bit bent. That's okay. It's all a work in progress. With each inhale, lengthen through the back body. And as you exhale, Try and draw the knees, the back of the legs, down towards the earth. If you're already flat here, lengthen through the back body, gazing beyond the feet. Where the eyes go, the body will flow. If you're looking down here, that's where you'll go. I want you to get long. Inhale, lengthen. This is just like our Uttanasana, except we're on the floor. Wherever you are, just be there. It's all good in the hood. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, gently walk the hands back. Slide your booty towards your heels and lower with your back down onto the earth. Let's come back to our set of bandhasana, our bridge pose. Press the feet into the earth. And this time we're going to lift the hips. Going to interlace the hands behind the back. Squirrel the shoulders together. Send the heart up over the head. Press the feet into the earth and lift. For three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands. Come all the way down. Just gently let the knees tap together. And rest. Two more breaths. One more breath. Last round of bridge. Press the feet into the earth. Start to lift the hips with the inhale. Squirrel the hands together, interlace the fingers. Shoulders move a little bit closer as we retract our shoulder blades. Lift the heart, send it up over the head. The thoracic spine. Sorry, the cervical spine pressing into the mat, the chin, chin tucked close, press the feet, lift the hips. Exhale, all the way back down. And give yourselves a little bit of a hug here. Roll around the back, just a little, a little bit of a massage. Okay, exhale, release. And come all the way down for your Shavasana. So I'm like well and truly off my mat. So a little bit of respite that I actually like sometimes is I put my bolster underneath my knees. Just because it feels good. And I'm going to rest my hands back on my belly. I can feel the rise and fall of the belly. This part of the body that we don't always speak too nicely about. We call it names, we poke it. But this is such a beautiful place in the human body. It's where we grow other humans if you're a female. It's where we process all our food and we 
Fine will our nutrition. It's a comfy spot for our kids to rest their heads and for our pets to show us they love us. And for our lovers to find their place of comfort. Feel the rise and the fall of this beautiful part of your body, the belly. Allow yourself to surrender and let go. beautiful is the body, the inhale breath, the lungs hugging our heart, the beautiful rise and fall of our bellies. All of these internal functions supporting us in this space and time in this life. Staying in your Shavasana for as long as you like. If you're ready to come out, a little bit of movement in the fingers and toes. Take the arms up over the head for a stretch. And then rolling over to your left side and bringing the hands underneath the head. Gently reawakening the physical self from that deep place of restfulness. Right hand presses into the earth. And gently return to your Sukhasana. Easy seated pose. Gently closing the eyes. Bring the hands to heart center. Gentle humble bow of the head. happy and free. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace in the heart, peace in the head, peace in the home. It's this happiness and freedom that we all seek as practitioners of yoga, finding and making our way in a life in yoga. Happiness, freedom, peace and joy. Health, health in the heart, health in the home, health in the head. Namaste my yogi friends, thank you for joining me in collective practice and I look forward to seeing you the next time we roll out our rubber rectangle. Namaste.